bit of brekkie off the batteries <laughs> in our slightly disheveled, messy kitchen and house. Got to get a big meal in today because we got another big day planned. Our friend Jane, our friend Brent, and Danelle I plan on having a team of five people working today. Oh, you pooped on me! You pooped on me! So, I'm thinking it's gonna be a big productivity day. Mm. Just pumping out these doors they're taking them off or I've taken them off and we're having to widen the slots here so the hinges fit on the other side then we just stack them over here Ouch. got a little production line going here ow god don't put that in almost every time it kicks out this little scrap of wood from where the saw blade and it kicks that hat and it hits me in the belly every time and it's leaving little welts it feels like i'm getting shot with a bb gun every time you see the welts <laughs> Julie a laugh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the stunt man on this on this project. Fight for Brit. Like a boss. This I absolutely love for Jules and Mark. Now this is a laminate, it's a quick clack and um, it's going to be fantastic in the RV. Yay. All right, we're out here today working on the cabinets. You know, I didn't even realize just how many cabinets we had until I came back out here to check on Brett and he did such a fantastic job cutting all these cabinets uh, but now comes the work of trying to prep these cabinets and it's a pretty big job because you can see there's a lot of cabinet doors some of these cabinets have been a lot of work they need to be re-glued and then some of them where the mirrors were had lots of glue some of them even use liquid nails which is terrible to get off and this paint is all peeling so there's a lot of work to be done in prepping these cabinets to get them ready to do the primer and take them back in. Tomorrow's just fine. We just wanted to make sure it was going to be here tomorrow because we're installing it Thursday. So thank you. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. So today has been a busy day for Mark who's been prepping cabinets all day. Now he's priming them and then getting ready to start painting them this afternoon. We've got another situation we have to deal with. We've been here for two weeks and we haven't emptied our black tanks yet and uh, we didn't have a sewer connection and so we're now parked here with a torn apart RV and we have to work out how we're going to empty our tanks without moving the RV without being hooked up to a sewer connection. So that's where our good friend Brett comes in because he's, uh, he's the master of all things poop Master of all things poop. Yeah, that's your new name. You are, yeah. We've also been chasing up the delivery of our new toilet. So that seems to be the theme of my day today. They've been regulars around here lately, haven't they? But you just set your little zones up in a cardboard box so you can tick off what's arrived, what hasn't. So this is fantastic having a tent and probably when I have a hissy fit I can come out here and chill.
Please use that. Oh, wait. I guess we probably want the window still. Oh, look at you, Mr. RV Builder. Yeah, and this all fits. Yeah, moment of truth. Reasonable. <laughs> Pretty damn close. Pretty close. This glue is awful. This has been so much time I've spent on this stuff. Brought all the drawers out from the house, and I've washed all the faces of the drawers taking the handles off those, washed all these cabinets with some vinegar, soap, and hot water solution. Some of these have needed a second go around with the wood filler, and I've been caulking all the inside seam of the cabinet. Finally, ready to pop the lid on a paint can. I'll paint the primer, and then I this is going to go fairly quick, and then within the next two hours, I'll be painting real paint. But this has been almost two entire days of prep work. We decided that it would be a great idea uh, to get some help with the tiling of the backsplash in the kitchen and the bathroom. Jules and Mark asked Brett if they knew a tiler and of course they do. They know Bruce. Today I'd like to actually be Bruce's apprentice and he's somewhat reluctantly agreed. So we'll see how that goes today. Wow. Run the tile out to this line here, okay. basically. We'll come so it'll go line. up in between the cabinets, so it... Right, so that'll bring the kitchen visually out. Out to where that wallpaper line is. Right. Every time you turn around, there's another spot that needs some care. I've used quite a few tubes of this. Painting with primer now. Going over our shimmery wallpaper. Yeah, I've done a fair bit of painting and knock on wood, I usually don't need blue tape. Doing the uh, Cirque du Soleil of painting. Now I'm just doing a little bit of roller. I'm gonna have to primer virtually the entire coach, so it's a lot of primer. I already did the sanding, caulking, and the wood putty, and all the prep Gluing. work takes forever compared to the paint. Uh, but if you do the prep good, then the paint goes fast. It's a lot of inches. Oh, yeah. Being the fantastic guy, I've got some very precision equipment. Wire chaser so I can take power. Photometer. This is, uh, this is a great little tool. Every RVer needs one of these. I am looking for uh, power for this Fantastic. I think we have it figured out, but I think we have another problem now. I think the Fantastic's given up the ghosts, as it were. Got new ones on order. Right now, I'm just chasing down the, the power so that when they come in, it'll be just a plug and play kind of thing. So, but I'm, at the same time, I'm trying to stay out of the guy's way that are doing the tile work. So I've got voltage there now. One problem down. Yeah, Mercury's in retrograde, so you're not supposed to work on electronics right now. Because <laughs> everything I touch seems to break. <laughs> it's all going on here this morning. We have Mark down there reinstalling cabinet doors. Jane 
helping Bruce on the tiling job. Yes. Brett, doing a fantastic job here. Yeah. He's in the toilet. Yeah. That's where it all happens. Hey, <laughs> FYI, always close the toilet lid when you're dealing with small parts above the toilet, including your toothbrush. Okay. <laughs> it's looking really hot, Bruce. <laughs> Very, it's a flexible grout so that when there's a lot of movement, these tiles are not going to move anywhere. It's like, hello, five star jewels, right? But you can't wait to start cooking creations in here, Jules. Absolutely. We can just get rid of this controller, or actually we could just leave it in because then we wouldn't have a hole to repair. But maybe the designer can give us an opinion on that. And I think that an opinion right now is a good plan. And like, let's get rid of that sucker. So, well, luckily they're not too hard to remove. Cool. Thanks, Brad. Except there's going to be another hole. Take care of. It's all right. I can put something else in. <laughs> so Princess Perth wants us to get rid of the switch here. Pretty cool. It, it was I was using a butter knife earlier, but it wasn't strong enough, and I bent it. So whose butter knife was it? Al's. Um, it's yours. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll take it off my bill. <laughs> Would that wire shock you? Like no. Those? I mean. I mean, it shouldn't, oh. because it, it should be dead. So okay. you just... Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> We're going to be installing this brand new Fantastic from Dometic. It's going to be really easy to wire. It's a, uh, one of the uh, basic units that doesn't have a remote. So we just got a positive and a negative to hook up. Drag it up the ladder and pop it in the hole. It, I make it sound so easy. It's not that easy. We've got to seal it connect the wires and we'll be ready to go. It's gonna be fantastic to have working fans. You just filmed me falling, so. I got it. So we can laugh over and over. Just don't break my fan. Are you talking about me? Because I'm one of your fans. <laughs> You're a big fan. Big Make fan. RV but... love fan. Yeah, we're a fan of yours too. <laughs> this is just gonna be tedious. Man, your vents, your poop vents right here, really stinks. <laughs> Three weeks, we need to dump Three our tanks weeks right of after this. poop wafting into my face here every time the breeze blows. And it's summer. And it's summer, it's like 100 degrees. You know you have a bit of an urgent need when you ship next day air. A hose. What a macerator does, it's basically like a giant blender that you hook up to your sewer line and it grinds things up and it allows you to pump uphill over distance through a more of a commercial hose. All right, so here I am over near our friend's coach and they do have a sewer connection. It's gonna disconnect their sewer hose. We're actually pushing the limits here. It says that you're supposed to go 50 feet with a three quarter inch hose. We're gonna go 75 feet. No going back now. Power. There we go. Black, gray, empty.
Well, it's 10.30. We started at 3.30. Started it's the floor at 3.30. Floor. We started working at 8. So I'd say about six and a half hours work. Um, didn't quite get finished. We're getting pretty tired now. We're looking really good. And uh, tomorrow's going to be another big day. There we go. Living room is finished. <laughs> oh my god. It looks fantastic, Jules. I know. Even oh with all the god. mess. Woo! How exciting! Well, I never would have thought about any of those without you, would Thanks, I? Thanks, darling. Oh, high five, you've got friends. <laughs> Woohoo! Now we can really start deciding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a power shop at 9.30 at night after a four and a half hour drive. I don't know how this is going to fit in the Jeep. Yay! That was a very big shopping trip. This is how you make over an RV in less than three weeks. Don't look at the credit card bill for a little while, okay? <laughs> Dexter, how did you get in there? What are you doing, silly kitty? <laughs> no. There you go. What is in there? What is that? Oh, is that for your table? The vase. Yeah. It's so nice. What do you reckon, girls? Gorgeous. I love it. Nice. This is the window box that we're going to start on today. So Danelle's going to help me cover this. Because I'm keeping all the grey and I'm going to take off this fabric, I'm going to leave this fabric here. Because it's such a perfect line, I'm going to staple and then pull over and fold. Getting ready to put together our new booth dinette and I've pre-cut all the boards and I've got a layout for them off of my plan. I'm going to use a nail gun to put it together initially and then I'm going to come back and screw actual wood screws in it to make it really strong. nice and easy when I left the brackets in place. Brackets can hold it there like a helper.
looks like there's a long way to go, but we're actually closer than it appears. Anyway, we're excited to show the final result to you. I'm going to put this camera down, see if I can tidy up. Yeah, Jules, come on, get on the paintbrush. That's <laughs> right. Like, I just know. like doing the videoing, yeah, and then they can do all the work. What's wrong with that? Get back on the tools. <laughs>